Hello, everybody. Just thought I um, just the thought just hit me. I'm out here at the Melbourne. What is it? The Melbourne Art Festival. The Melbourne Art Festival downtown Melbourne. In downtown Melbourne today. It is um, Saturday, April 31st. No, March 31st, 2018. And I have my kids here with me, and I decided, you know what? It might not hurt to dig out the camera and, and share with you guys uh, what we're seeing today over here at the Melbourne Art Fest. Hey, hey. Thanks. So I just wanted to show you some of the sights and sounds that are here. All sorts of cool stuff. There's a lot of painting, a lot of sculpture, a lot of different works by a lot of different artists. This is like an annual event that they have here and it's um, pretty much free. So free is always good, right? <laughs> the kids and I try to come here, what, pretty much every year when we can? Yeah. How long have you been coming here, Nick? Um, since I was really young. Yeah. Like, I think second grade, third grade. Yeah, so you remember that? Oh, look. Now, this is something the band dwellers could relate to. Isn't that cool? There's even a yellow submarine there. Huh? Hey, we can dance. Are you dancing? Yeah. Yo, know, I think that was for me to make because I probably could make that in Photoshop just with some Google images of like what they had there, put in the background, blend it. Easy. Let's check. No, also the food, weird foods. <laughs> a lot of um, different types of art. Here you can see somebody loves fish and wildlife. That's cool. And here looks like some kind of little, what is that, um, stylized little girl paintings. Keep in and of mind, course, what was that, Nick? Keep in mind, everything here you could buy, mostly. Yeah, it's an art fest. I, um, now, actually, I should show you all the RVs of these people that were parked out there. A lot of these people, I guess, they uh, live in RVs, campers, and, and travel. I don't know if they travel across just the state or across the entire United States to hit these art festivals. But um, there were some really cool-looking RVs. So maybe I'll, I'll shoot those on the way back out. But um, certainly a, a nice way to spend a couple hours or an hour or two with your kids. I don't see it this year, so. This seems smaller. Yeah, it does seem a lot smaller than normal. Look at all this driftwood art. It's cool. What's do you know what the theme is with this art? Yeah, see the fish. Somebody has an eye. Look at it. They see all this driftwood. People see driftwood. What do they see? Fish. Different types of. He probably carved it. Yeah, well, maybe adjusted some of it, but a lot of it would have been based on the shape of the wood. So, this year, though, we're looking at, um, I don't see, this is a photographer here. She just some, maybe, I don't know. <laughs> one, one, one person's art, Nick? One person's art is another person's stupid looking dog. <laughs> That's what it looks like. Huh? Yep. Art? Art is very what? Personal. Yeah, I would, I would some random stuff and be like, That's art. <laughs> yeah. And then I start like, That art. You know, I'm, I'm looking and I don't see the, um, the kids section. Normally, maybe, that, maybe that's different. I wonder if that's a different event, but I think it's around now, isn't it? It's here, because like, we would make like, we would make like robots. Well, they normally would have, the, the kids section normally has like little activities the kids can do. Like they can make all sorts of arts, masks, helmets, puppets, things like that. It's usually around here. Right here at this corner, but I don't see it this year. So you know what I think? I think they didn't have it this year. They're not, they included, or this is a different festival. Even though I find it hard to believe. Usually you think the Melbourne Art Festival is just, well, that's just the other side. 
Oh, mermaids. How many of you like mermaids? These are beautiful mermaids, huh? Mermaids. Beautiful, huh? Well, you know, the real mermaids are kind of what? Scary. What did they do to the sailors? Yeah, the, some of them call them like sirens. They call out, they sing, and the, um, the sailors, they hear the sound and they come up to it. But when they go towards the sound, what do they hit? No. There's rocks. And the ship, while they're heading it, steering it towards the mermaids, they hit the rocks and crash and the ship sinks. They typically call those mermaids sirens. I don't know. I don't think they care. I think all they cared to do was do what to the people? Make them crash. You can even get jewelry here. Oh, so. Five million dollars jewelry. Huh? Five million. Of course, these, these always intrigue me because these are like local landscapes. This is what we see in Florida. You can do this. Too. Yeah, I drew. I just well, drew like you know, this. Well, you know. This is artists, though. The, the thing about this. Well, this looks a lot like the, the photos that I shoot, you know, especially yeah. when I was doing the sunrise but photos. No, that's art. But this is stuff somebody actually painted. That's drawn. You see here all sorts of color explosions and cool like stuff. Yeah. A lot of um, interesting themes here. It's kind of cool to watch all these different artists and the kind of things that they um, focus on. Certain people like dogs, other people like you know, fish, some like wildlife, and some like uh, nature scenes. So it seems like a lot of artists become fixated with certain topics or somehow end up specializing. I don't think they have the, the kids section. Yeah, we've been looking around and I do not see any, so. I wonder what happened. Looks like they're not having it this year or this is a different festival. Not the same one. Do you know what these are called when they a painting looks like this? It's impressionist. No, not really abstract, but impressionist. What an impressionist is, is um, you kind of get the feel. It's not realistic looking, but you can tell what that is. What are those things standing there? People. People, even though if you look at them, they obviously don't look like people. kind of abstract to me, but... They are. I mean, they're kind of abstract. Mm-hmm. Ice. They look like boats, or they could be ice. what? Ice. Ice. ice, like ice. Ah, here's a Buddha right here. And this one has like um, recessed frames. I mean, um, I guess recessed centers and protruding frames. Beautiful works. Beautiful works. And these are, are actual photos from photography. So let's go look at the the sculptures that we saw earlier. You know what this is like? The like Key West or something. Yo, I like that in my room. That looks like something um, Aunt Gay would be. That's mm -hmm. Aunt Gay, will, that looks like Aunt Gay's That's a thousand to that's the thing about art. It's with what somebody's willing to what? Hey, I'm not willing hey. to Well, get your own paint and you can do what? Paint. Paint it yourself. Look up on YouTube. Welcome Bob. to America. Look up on YouTube Bob Ross tutorial. Yeah, you could be like Bob. You know, Bob Ross is very famous. Huh? He made tutorials. Yeah, he did it on PBS. That's what he's famous for. He shows that anybody can what? Paint. You get these whimsical little little um, glimpses of Florida life. You got um, golfing, you got tennis, and you got fishing. Fantastic. Uh, let me show this one here. Looks like actual. They they put metal. I think I think it's copper. Copper. These are actually, they're they're raised. I think it's got a motif when they're raised up like that. I'm not a hundred percent sure. I forget from my art days. 
But these are actually raised pieces. They um, aren't flat and it's metal. There's our mermaid again. Yeah, you could do that. Those are reproductions. The problem is this. If nobody ever buys the art, guess what happens to artists? They run out of business. Yeah, they cannot do it for a living. Yeah, but a thousand dollars. Yep. If I liked it and I had the money. That's how artists work, Nick. They, um, somebody likes their work and guess what somebody's willing to do for them? Pay them. Matter of fact, some people will do what's called a commission. They go approach the artist and they say, hey, I would like to commission you to do this for me. And the artist paints what they want or sculpts what they want. And those are done, um, Yeah, that's a commission too. That's what you earn. When you do something, you earn a certain amount. That's called a commission. Look at this. Somebody loves owls and birds. Okay, this is a little more affordable. I think, $40 chickens. I think this is glass. I don't know if it's blown glass, but they are glass. Aren't off. they okay. beautiful? I think you could buy a real chicken for 40 bucks. Yeah, but this is this is not real. It's um, meant for you to put up because you like it. So... Here are a bunch of funny looking fish with big mouth and big lips. Oh, I like these. Isn't that whimsical? And look, whimsical lady. This is better priced. 24, hmm? 24, They're beautiful. I saw this on Facebook like a couple weeks ago. This is made from these paintings. You know what they're painted on? Uh, wood. Yeah, but what kind of wood? Where'd they come from? The sea. You can't figure it out, Nick? Look at it. Trees. What kind of cheese? Palm trees. Ah. They're the, the palm branches, the, the top part. So, Nick, if you got talent, you can find a bunch of discarded palm fronds, the leaf, the top part, and do what to it? Did you say the, 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 the top of the, um, top of the palm fronds and you can paint on it and cut it and make it look really nice and uh, look what they even have at the center of downtown Melbourne this is fairly new I think they have one of these um, modern sculptures what does that look like to you? Uh, a fish uh huh me too I'm thinking a fish on a what? and I see a baseball maybe a fish on a wave jumping up yeah. or you can see a baseball and a football uh huh so it depends on what your interests are huh? That's the other thing you need to know about art. It's interpretational. Look, somebody likes um, games. They got... Um, Margarita. Uh, well, it looks like they've got uh, billards, pool, and... I don't know. You can look at it. I don't think they look 3D to me. Look, they have glasses here, though. See depth, maybe. Should I put them on? No, you'd have to ask, but they may be. Maybe they look, they're designed to look 3D, maybe. I don't know. All right. That's pretty much the art show. We're going to um, head out now. We just came by to look. I was hoping they would have the kids section, but it looks like they don't have it. Yeah, we'll go look here in a moment, okay? And then I'll show you guys the, um, the RVs that some of these people drive. They're, like, pretty cool. Okay, we managed to safely make it back out. And look, this is like a van dweller's paradise. Look at all these uh, vans that I'm pretty sure people can dwell in. The art festival is two days. So, I'm pretty sure these um, artists are more than likely van dwellers. Yeah, that's really? definitely an artist. So, mm -hmm. and even their, their, their um, vehicle has art on it. So, van dwellers, RVers. For those of you who wonder what um, you can do to make money as a van dweller, there's a lot of different things you can do. But if you've got talent, you could be a traveling artist. What's Dwell means to live in something. So if they're a van dweller, what do they live in? Van. Van. Now, a lot of these people have RVs. And I'm going to tell you what. These RVs, do you think they're cheap or expensive? No, no, they're, <laughs> they're very expensive. About, like five paintings. So a lot of these artists, like how do you think they're doing with their work? Really well. Or they were doing really well before they became what? <laughs> so they had money, and then they retired, and they decided to become an... So you never really know, but I can tell you, look, this one here is a van dweller, yep. and it looks like 
this may be theirs or it may be the next one next to it. They actually pull a cart here that probably carries all their art. Here's a, a interesting looking van that it looks almost like a box truck that they might have converted. I don't know that I've never seen an RV rear that looks like that. It's got no windows on the that little rear one right there. And and these are the transit vans which a lot of people use. They're high tops, and of course you got the regular size vans. So this is where the money is. You think like this, this Sprinter? Sprinters are very popular. They have a lot of room inside. Very tall. You can stand all the way up. And these have no windows. But they're Mopars too. They also look like stealth. And of course you got people who can pull their trailers here. So it's a lot of really cool stuff. Yeah. You see here there's more vans. And some even have little campers. You see the campers over there? Whoa, that one looks made. Homemade. No, I don't think it's homemade. But it's called a pop top. See how the, the top pops up? Yeah. So when they travel, when they travel, that part goes down. It makes the truck a little bit more uh, aerodynamic. That means uh, I'm going to get rid of this rock before uh, somebody gets... Put, put it onto the, the dirt, Nick. Look at that big RV there, though. Wow. Some of these people are, are doing very well. Yes, you may take it and paint it. I got inspired. Ah, you got inspired by the artist? Hey, I'm going to tell you this. If you start young, guess what will happen to you if you keep up? I'll be good. You could. You can get better and better. And getting better and better means doing it all the time. But look at this particular RV. My kids and I were talking about this one. It's kind of very interesting. Because if you look at it, it looks like it's almost got like a double side. We're thinking the, the rear looks like a pullout. I've never seen that where the rear pulls out and then they have a drop-down bracer to hold everything in place would be very interesting to get a tour inside. Isn't that cool? Anyhow, I think this video is going on and on and I'm gonna go ahead and sign out for now. We are at the Melbourne Art Festival. It is in downtown Melbourne, right across from uh, the park that you've seen me come to quite a bit. Hi, what was this park called again? I forget. Uh, well, it's downtown Melbourne, but this park has a name. Right. It's right over here. Promenade Park? Uh, Promenade. Park? I think it's Promenade Park um, by the river. Right, there. right. Promenade Park right there. Is that what that says? Yeah, it's Promenade Park. So, we're going to go ahead and head out. I think we're going to walk on the other side, though. In the meantime, I'm going to go ahead and pause the camera. Thank you all for tuning in and joining us. I hope you're having a wonderful day where you are and uh, enjoying your weekend. Hope you have a, a safe and happy Easter. And if you have your family around, I hope you're getting a chance to spend it with your family. God bless you all. Stay safe. Take care now.